Luca, it looks to me like you've been to the shops. You seem to have bought an enormous amount of stuff. What are we going to do with it all? I hope it's enough, this, uh, all this stuff. <laughs> I hope yeah. so. But uh, today we are going to go for uh, a spaghetti tomato sauce. Simple yeah. tomato sauce? Yeah, exactly. Which is the base sauce for lots of other sauces. Yes, exactly. So we can learn this one, all the others follow. Yeah, because, you know, uh, many chefs, uh, many people at home in Italy, they, they have their own tomato sauce. And every, everyone wants says uh, uh, that's the right one but we have to follow the the history and the procedures the, the physics and of cooking and there are some certain rules that are worth following aren't yeah they? exactly some people uh, they do confuse the different sauces but for pasta is the only one is the napoli tomato sauce okay because there is the simple sauce simple uh, is uh, with just tomato parsley and garlic then there is the Italian tomato sauce, is uh, with carrot, uh, celery and onion. And then there is the Napoli sauce. And this is the mother sauce of uh, the most pasta yeah. sauces. If so you can learn that sauce, then you can elaborate it to a whole lot of other sauces. Absolutely. Onions, basil, garlic, toma cream tomatoes. Olive oil. Olive oil. That's it. And there a pinch of salt. So we start with uh, extra virgin olive oil. Enough to cover the bottom of the pot. The bottom, yeah. And then we start with the uh, uh, onion. I see now you pureed those onions. Yeah, um, we do blend it okay. because uh, it's uh, an easier way. It's quicker than chopping. Yeah, quicker, quicker than chopping. One onion, medium size. The local one. Yeah. I always uh, get the, the local ones mm -hmm. because uh, are uh, even better, always better, you yeah. know. Fresh, nice, fresh, you know. And now uh, we go with uh, the, our plant tomatoes. You assume that tomatoes have been around for as long as human beings in Europe have, but they haven't. Uh, 400 years ago, these were brand new to Europe. Yeah. And the people were very suspicious of them. They thought they were poisonous. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. And I do remember was uh, with the aubergine, was the same. Was uh, The uh, old Latin name was Mela Insana. Oh. People as well, they were thinking it's a uh, You go crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was Neapolitans who discovered that Tomatoes were not poisonous. Oh, yeah. The, the poor people of Naples yeah. uh, uh, thought perhaps if they boiled yeah. the tomatoes, they might kill whatever poison was in it. Yeah. <laughs> so the first tomato sauces actually came from Naples. Yeah. Where, uh, before that, people thought tomatoes were for table decoration. That's right. They yeah. were just pretty. In every rich house, a rich family house, noble was a plant of tomato, yeah, right. uh, as an ornament. And uh, imagine after that, now tomato sauce is everywhere in yeah. the world. Incredible, yeah? Everywhere in the world you can find uh, spaghetti tomato sauce. But it's good. Now, but yeah. But it's good. It's good. That's, uh, that's absolutely, why, I yeah. Think. It's fantastic. Okay, then uh, we go with uh, garlic. I break it a little bit so that the flavors are... The flavors get out. Get out. And then, of course, we do add some basil. Yeah, nice. Mm, I love it, yeah. Oh, beautiful smell. Yeah, I love basil, you know. Beautiful smell. And, you know, one uh, secret, of course there are no secrets about cooking, is uh, we have to stir many, many times as, as much as we can. Yeah. Because more you stir, more better you get. Yeah. So all the, the flavors are going nice around and everything is cooked evenly. It avoids hot spots. Yeah. So it's a half kilo spaghetti, normally enough for four or five people. Yes. In Italy, three not. in my house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, three in, uh, in Italian <laughs> family, three. Sometimes even two. You Sometimes two. Depends yeah. how hungry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we add some salt into water. Always, uh, never too much. It's better to stay a little bit under, so that, in case if someone likes very very salty, can add. You can always add it. Yeah. You see uh, the the color of it starts uh, the to change. tomato. Yeah, start to change. Starts to get a nice orange color. That means that we are in the right way. Right. In uh, in Italy, we are talking about uh, the right tomato sauce. You know, uh, in Italy uh, there are uh, 50 million football uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, trainer of the the national team. Yes. And there are 50 million of chefs. Yes, absolutely. So there is always a big dispute <laughs> on that. Always a lot. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. when uh, the spaghetti are doing 90 degrees, yeah. then it, uh, now it's uh, curvy, yeah, like yes. that. When they're starting to be 90 degrees, it means they are al dente. Right. So now uh, another couple of minutes. Should do it. Should, should do it. 
Oh yes, I think here we are. Already? 90 degrees. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, beautiful. And here we go. Oh. I've seen a lot of Irish people serve their pasta, they drain it and put it onto a plate and then put a bit of sauce on the top. And that couldn't be more wrong. I think because they might have seen it, Dolmio advertisements on television do it like that. Yeah. I have never seen anybody in Italy do that. Again, a little bit of yeah, basil. Yeah, to refresh the taste to of basil. To refresh the, the taste. Good idea. Yeah. Because it does get lost a little bit in the cooking. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, I do add, again, some extra A little bit of oil, oil which will no. now be not cooked. Yeah. And therefore will taste fresh exactly. and crisp. And uh, it keeps, uh, the, you know, mantecare the pasta. Keeps so, it nice and moist. Yeah. Add some Parmesan cheese. Because uh, I it know... It does work beautifully, doesn't yeah, it? I know you like it. I like when the Parmesan goes on like that. It, it absorbs some of the tomato. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. always rather good, isn't it? Yeah, it's I like it when you get yeah. it to the bottom of the plate and there's a yeah, bit exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. And then nice. yeah, with a piece of bread you, you take... You can finish it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top. A little bit of extra parmesan. Yeah, lovely. So, and then, nice, uh, you know, this. Uh, make the, it pretty. Yeah, make it pretty. With, uh, like that. And another drizzle. Do a little bit of that so virgin olive oil. And now, Paolo, buon appetito. So, if you're eating spaghetti and you want to do it Italian style with just a fork, you have to learn to lift and separate. If you just start turning your fork at that point, you'll pull whole, half the plate will come with you. If you lift, if you put your fork in and lift, so that you've got a separate piece, then you can turn, and then you've got your fork full. And then there is a Italian way, yeah, is you take a tongue, and we do like that. <laughs>